right and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my January favourite, so let's start. So the first favourite I've got is a cleanser by Soap and Glory. This is just the Peaches and Clean 3-in-1 cleanser. I've got a tiny bit left at the bottom, but it's stuck at the bottom and I can't get this out. I can't get it out with this thing. And as you can see, the comes broke off. This is my first time trying a cleanser by Soap and Glory because I thought the product would be too harsh on my skin because my skin's really sensitive, but no, it works lovely. It doesn't burn your skin, doesn't irritate your skin. So it cleans all your makeup off, dead nice, cleanses your skin. Yeah, so I'd definitely be buying this again. I think it was about eight or nine pounds. I'm sure it was eight. So yeah, this is lovely. The second thing is a shower gel. This is by The Body Shop. And this is just the classic strawberry one. This was the first time as well using a product by The Body Shop. But I've never done it before because I think it's overpriced for what it is. Um, so yeah, this is just really nice. It smells like cowpaw. Remember being a, a kid? than having Calpa when you were sick. It smells like that, so I definitely really like this. The third thing I have is a matte lipstick. This is by Maybelline. This is just a Rouge Edition Velvet, and I've got mine in the colour 07 Nudist. I've got it on today, but I'm not sure that you can really tell. So yeah, um, I, I thought this product would be a bit um, a first, because a matte drying lipstick, and I've got really dry lips, but I thought it'd leave my lips cracked and dry, but no. I wore it in work for an eight hour shift once and it stayed on all day. It didn't crack, it didn't didn't flake flake out or do anything like that. So I'll definitely be getting more colours of these. The next thing I have is a lipstick by Rimmel. This is just the Kate Moss collection. And this is in the colour Rosetta Rouge 110. Now I use this for everyday wear because I think it's a bit too light for in the nights. So I'll definitely be getting more colours of that. The next thing I have is a book by Sally Hughes. And this is Pretty Honest. I got this as a present for Christmas and I really like the start like the start of each chapters. Because you've got really lovely pictures and then a little quote by someone famous. So it's basically a beauty book and it just tells you Sally's opinions on what you should and shouldn't be doing so I really do like that. I think this was about £12 on Amazon so I would definitely like this. The next thing I have is a Nivea Light Moisturising Day Cream and again I was a bit worried about getting this because I've got really sensitive skin and anything like this would just irritate it so I was a bit nervous but I really do like this. It's so light and airy. It doesn't feel thick or heavy. It just feels like a nice day cream. I think this was about two or three pounds. Last thing I have is a book by Gillian Flynn, and this is called Gone Girl. I was a bit late about this book to jump on the bandwagon because everyone read it or was reading it, and I thought, why not? I'll just get it. And I got it and I really, really like it. I'm reading about two or three, two or three chapters a night. So I'm about halfway through, but I really do like this. It's a it's a gripping murder story. Well, let's just put it that way. Um, that's everyone for my January favourites this month. So, thanks for watching and bye.